Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the new HP Spectre X360, the late 2017th model with the new quad-core CPU. So if you have any questions, leave them in the question field below. Let's start. The Spectre logo. As you can see, the box is, as usual, nice. I have already removed the plastic. So it's uh, quite an elegant box. Goldish bottom. Let's open up. Top there is the, the laptop. Looks beautiful as always. HP Spectres has always looked very nice. And uh, here we have some paperwork. Ah, it's a setup instruction. Cables, two of them, uh, one Swedish, that one is Swedish, and this one is uh, US or UK or something. Quite nice when you're traveling. And here's the power brick. Also included in the box. That's uh, very nice. I like when things are included, you don't have to buy it separately. So it's the standard pan, the same as uh, the last generation. identical. It has some new features. Uh, you have the HP logo and you see the copperish, goldish uh, trims around the PC. And on this side they have a micro SD card reader. That's very nice. And here's the power button, the headphone jack and a USB type A port. So on the back you can see they have changed the air outlet to this uh, slot. To that slot. And there's a power button. It feels very strange. It's no tactile uh, feeling at all. So that's not so nice. And the fingerprint reader and the two USB Thunderbolt 3 ports. Power it up. You can see it's uh, very, very glossy. You can see the keyboard is uh, mirroring. Uh, loading. So 
So I will do uh, the setup and uh, come back to you. So setup is done. Hey is hello in English. So this is how it looks, and there you have the racer core. So let's see how it. Uh, I will connect my. Uh, the PC is connected to the dock on the underside, and just put in the cables. the Thunderbolt cable going to the racer core. This is mainly to see how it how easy or not easy we can do the, the Thunderbolt connection. So if you immediately recognize Thunderbolt port is used for some kind of device. So uh, I have to um, authorize that that setting, of course. And do a reboot. I've learned from earlier versions of this uh, PC that you uh, reboot is almost required. <laughs> so you can see it's already um, mirroring to the my external monitor. And uh, I have to unlock it. I have a face unlock. It's quite fast. <laughs> really fast. See if we can... Uh, I don't have... it hasn't uh, really uh, seen the, that I have a GTX 1070 gra graphic card. So... Uh, the drivers has to be installed first. So you can see the settings there. It was um, uh, the, the screen on the Spectre is uh, a 4K display. So let's uh, open the device manager. And here, under graphic uh, adapters, you see it's uh, almost the Microsoft uh, base display. So let's click on the install, and it will take take some some time before it, it takes roughly uh, four or five minutes before it's installed. I think it's almost done. Yes, you can see it recognizes the 1070 graphic card. So this is all for this session and I will uh, 
the next video is about benchmarking and see how it differs from the older generation of HP Spectre. So uh, please subscribe if you want to see more and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.